Oh, it gives me a recap. Oh, that's lovely. That's magnificent. I was not expecting that. We saw 15 puzzles already. We, we struggled through most of those. Here we go. Our story so far. The professor and Luke make their way successfully to Reinhold Manor, where they meet Lady Dahlia. But before they can start talking, a loud noise startles Lady Dahlia's cat, Claudia, who runs off. Professor and Luke are now forced to find the missing feline. We found her. It, sa it saved, didn't it? We found her, that woman's cat. Hang on. Uh, let's go back. Uh, puzzle index. Puzzle index should have all the puzzles that we've solved. My beloved was the last one. That was the painting. We did the pigs. We did the food. This was. was I thought we did this all. Did all. We saw. We found the cat, didn't we? I'm pretty sure we found the cat. The journal. Uh, Claudia found. Okay. It was a, it was a long struggle that caused Luke some scratches in the face, of perhaps his pride. But I mean, yeah. And they did the way back and inform her. Okay, so we gotta find we gotta find Lady Dahlia. Okay, simple as that. Uh, where's Lady Dahlia or Lady Dahlia, y'all? Matthew, did you notice anything strange or any strange characters around the manor at the time of the incident? Not a soul, I'm afraid. Uh, uh oh. Uh, I didn't even know about Master Simon until Inspector Chimley showed up. Oh, that's right. Inspector Chimley showed up. And where is Simon's body now? I didn't see this, but I was told that the inspector carried the body out shortly after arriving. I see. Well, it looks like for the moment we are without a lead on this case. Ah, but you know, I found this in the room where Master Simon's body was discovered. What is it? Uh, sorry to say I have no idea, but I thought it might be a clue, so I made sure to hold on to it. Amazing. It's a cog so small that one could search the room and miss it. Look, it has an engraving. Drop cogs. All right. So that list of mysteries is growing really quickly. Really quickly. A small cog? Now that you mention it, oh, that's Matthew, wrong voice. A small cog. Now that you mention it, I know a puzzle. Oh my God! Why did they do this? Why did they do this? I know a puzzle about an object that almost fits that description. They they just fit the fact that they have a puzzle for me into everyday conversation. What? Are you joking? A puzzle at a time like this? All right, let's solve today's first puzzle. This one is find the dot. You are holding an eight-pointed shape with a red dot on it. Oh, once again, for the for you guys watching, the left side, the, the screen on the left side is the top screen for me. The screen on the right is the bottom. Okay. You are holding an eight-pointed shape with a red dot on it. If you hold the shape so that the red dot is in the position shown in diagram A, then flip it over, you'll see a black dot as depicted. Okay. Oh, uh, depicted below. And then flip it over. Okay. Now assume you are holding the shape as shown on the left side in diagram B. Where will the black dot be when you flip the shape over? Okay, this is not so bad. Draw a circle around where you think the dot should go. Okay, so if it's... Oh, I need... I, should, I was supposed to go buy a notebook from Walmart. Damn it. <laughs> I was supposed to buy I wanted to buy a notebook specifically for this game Because this game Sometimes require you to Do a little bit of work Okay we're back to note, note cards After stream today I'm immediately going out To, to buy a notepad Alright Okay so let's see If it is, It's a little bit easier if I use like a note card That's not perfectly shaped All the way around So if we if the dots up here the red dot's here. When you rotate it like this, the black dot for you guys is here. Right? Yeah. Well, it's my camera's flipped around. But that's where it would be for you guys. So let's see. If I hold it like this and flip it, the dot's here. 
So that means if I instead hold it and flip it like, oh, oh, I see it. It's flipping like that. Oh, this is tricky. <laughs> okay, so let's see. What I need to do is draw the red dot on this side here and then on the other side here. Okay, so this is red. And when you flip it this way, this is black. So if this is red, I don't know if you can see that tiny dot. I should have made it a little bit bigger. Red here, black here. So if I take this red dot and it is instead like this, when I rotate and flip, did I do that right? Yeah, it's here. Basically, it's two to the left of where it should be up here. So if it's up here, it's two to the left on this one. So if it's down here, it's two to the left on this one. It's this dot. Oh, I need to draw a circle. Yeah, it's this one. Let me see if I can fix chat. Oh, I goofed. Oh, I goofed. Focus on the relationship between the points. Did I turn it the wrong way? Did I turn the damn thing the wrong way? Oh, I hate this game already. <laughs> okay. Oh, I didn't mention. Picarots is how many uh, points the puzzle's worth. They're basically points. As you get it wrong, it's worth less and less points. Okay, let's try this again. Wait, black dot, you flip it over. You flip it the same way. This one's two to the left. Right here. So if I'm flipping this, it's two to the left, right? Is that not right? Wait, how did I goof that one up that badly? This is the first one for the day. So then this one went one, two, three. So then it went, this red dot got turned three to the right. So this one should get turned three to the right. One, two, three. And it's not that one. It's not It's not this dot here. It's not this one. What the hell happened? What kind of wizardry? This one. Oh. What? <laughs> What? I need a hint. I need a hint. F it. If you flip the shape in diagram A, you get the shape shown in the upper right of the screen. Try to visualize where that black dot is when the white side is up. Okay. So when the white side is up, it's actually right here. You can, and I can kind of see it through. I know you guys probably can't. But that black dot there, this is the red one. This is the red one. And then you can kind of see it faintly. This is the black one right here on the other side. Because you can see that it's right there. So let's see. Diagram B is just a rotated version of diagram A. So you know that the position of the black dot in diagram B must also rotate a current, uh, accurate, accordingly. What? You rotate it. Yeah, it's right there. And then you turn this bad boy this way. And you still rotate it. What the hell is this nonsense? Hang on. Give me a second. One. Yo, I messed up here. I messed up on this puzzle. I messed up. I don't, I don't think I, I don't think I can solve this one because it's it's all over the place. It's all over the place. What's going on, little fire? We're just solving some puzzles. We're on puzzle number one today, and we are already messed up. Let me see. It's at the top, and then you rotate it. The black dots. So what? Yeah, it said diagram B. It's just a rotated version of diagram A. 
So if I rotate this one, what is that? That looks like 135 degrees. And I still, I still flip this the same way. Oh. It's in the middle. It's in this one, isn't it? No, that's wrong. That's several levels of wrong, chill. One, two, three, one, two. No, one, one, two. Okay, so one, one, two. Excuse me, Professor Layton. I think you need to check yourself before you wreck yourself. When the shape is positioned as shown in, in, in A, the black dot is behind the middle right prong of the shape. Flip over the shape and you'll see it's in the middle left prong. See how the dot moves when you flip the shape? It, wait, is it asking us where it should be before we rotate it? Before we flip it, I should say? Because if that's the case, then it's, it's this one. Yo, excuse me, Professor Layton. I, I'm not here for this nonsense. Is it this one? I'm not here for this nonsense today, Professor Layton. Okay. I suppose I thought wrong. Okay. Which one is it? Which one is it? Move it clockwise. When the white side is facing up, the black dot is two spaces ahead of the red dot. Now you should pretty much know where the black dot is. Just visualize the shape flipping over and you'll have the answer. Moving clockwise, the white, uh, uh, the black dot is two spaces ahead of the red. Moving clockwise. Moving clockwise. What was that? The black dot is two spaces ahead of the red. Clockwise. No, it's not. Clockwise. Oh, it it you you find it too before. Okay. So then clockwise. I did this one already. I did that. That was the first one I did. Wasn't it? I said this one. That was the first one that I said. I even, like, my diagram hasn't even. Has it? No, it hasn't even changed. That's the first one I said. There we go. Yo, Layton. Frankly, I'm ashamed. Let us move past this puzzle. We need. If I quit, what's gonna happen? I, I beg your forgiveness, Professor. You see, I just can't figure it out. What reason would anyone have to hurt Simon? We did. I feel like that one was done right. I feel like that one was done right. In the VOD, I'll have whether or not that one was done right. Because that was the very first thing that we said. That was the very first thing that we said. Let's talk to this man so we can be mad about him too. Imagine a murder in this very house. It brings a chill to my spine, it does. You're a detective, are you not? Do hurry and find the monster that did this. My goodness, sir, I am no detective. But I agree that your concerns are certainly warranted. No one is safe until that criminal is behind bars. My sentiments exactly. I just don't understand it. Simon could be snide, but he wasn't the type to be hated. If the criminal was after my brother's fortune, I could very well be this fiend's next target. You have a point. If we narrow down the motive to stealing the Reinhold fortune, there are a few potential suspects. Good gracious, you don't think I'd do something like this now? Diamond, I got along very well, I'll have you know. He wasn't very close with Augustus, though. You know, all this talk of families has me contemplating a puzzle I once heard. Bickering Brothers. This one's worth 40. As the number of how much it's worth scales, it becomes more difficult. So, that last one was what? 30? Here we go. Okay. Six brothers have gathered around a table to eat dinner. 
Each of the brothers is prone to fighting with the siblings directly above and below in age and can't be seated next to either of them. Also, three and five got into an argument the other day and refused to sit next to each other. The eldest brother, brother one, uh, has already sat down at the big table and is waiting on the others to start eating. Can you find a seating arrangement that will keep everyone from fighting with each other? All right, this one shouldn't be too bad. Okay, so the brothers in age, I'm going to guess they go in number order. Number one's the oldest, six is the youngest. Uh, the brothers in age can't sit to whoever's the old, the his most recently born brother and then the brother born most recently after him. Also, three and five can't sit next to each other. So that means one and two can't sit next to each other. Here's two. Here's three. We can't put four here. Here's so the four has to go here. We can't put five next to either one of these, so we need to move three here. Here's five. We can't put six here because five and six are next to each other. So what we can do is we can move one. Oh, we can't move one. So let's move everything else. Let's go here. And then we have six. That was easy. That was easy. I feel like I did that right. You can't sit one next to two, two next to three, three next to four, four next to five, or five next to six. You also can't sit three next to five. Did it. There we go. All right. Another puzzle solved. Uh, another way it can be solved is if you mirror image everything if instead of putting three on the right side three's on the left and then follow suit inverting this see there we go i knew that one i was ready for that one inverting this arrangement horizontally will also result in a correct answer and i believe those are the only two possible answers because of where one is situated good job Sit the boys as shown, and there shouldn't be any trouble. The mirror image of the seating arrangement is also a valid answer. Finally, a meal in peace. There we go. That's why I feel like that one with the, the eight-sided cog was messed up. Because cause that one with the 4D puzzle was too easy. Ah, oh, yeah, so that's the answer. Thank you for clearing up that puzzle, but we're still no closer to finding Simon's killer. I assure you I had nothing to do with it, so please go out and find the real murderer. Of course. I understand your position. It appears I am a suspect, too. I'll find out what I can. I found a strange gizmo. Curtis. Oh, we also got that puzzle in our index. Dope. All right, let's talk to Inspector Chimley. I'm familiar with him because he was in the Professor Layton versus Ace Attorney game as well. And I think that's all the characters that I should know from this game. Is everyone who is present at the side of the... Oh, sorry. I read that wrong. Is this everyone who is present at the side of the crying? I believe we are missing Ramon, sir. Ramon? Where is he and what on earth is he doing? Matthew, fetch Ramon at once. To be honest, ma'am, thinking on it, I've not seen Ramon for a few hours now. What? Don't tell me he was taken as well. No, hold on a moment. He's a suspect too. Perhaps he fled the scene of the crime. Where could he be at a time like this? If the murderer got a Ramon too? What if the murderer got a Ramon too? Okay, so I guess now we gotta go find Ramon. Let's talk to Matthew one more time. Just to make sure there's nothing new. Hey, where did Lady Dahlia go? I believe Madam has retired to the adjoining room to relax on her own. She's a strong woman, but it's only natural she'd need to rest after a terrible event like this. Very well, then. Would you please let her know that I'd have something I'd like to talk to her about? But of course, Professor, please wait right here. Lady Dahlia might act like an ice queen, but I guess even she was shaken by today's events. Luke! If you ever wish to become a gentleman, you'll need to start showing a little more sensitivity. Oh, of course, Professor. I apologize. That was wrong of me. Madam, we'll see you now. Just head back through that doorway on the left. 
All right, let's go. Lady Dahlia. She got some nice shoes. Lady Dahlia, I have a deep suspicion this murder is connected to the mystery of the golden apple. What? It's too early to say for sure, but I think that it's highly probable the two matters are linked. And do you think Ramon is somehow involved in all of this? Potentially, yes. However, as of yet, we don't have enough information to draw any solid conclusions. I see. If that's the case, I have a request for you, Professor. Find Ramon and bring him back here to me. It sickens me that I am being considered a suspect in this brutal crime. I must prove my innocence at once. As you wish, Lady Dahlia. We will ask around town to see what you can find. I appreciate your help, Professor. Well then, I'll be waiting the I'll be awaiting the good news in the parlor. This video was part of a stream. If you want to catch our streams live, make sure you subscribe to Alt Play as well as turn on notifications and follow at the Alt Play on Twitter. That way you can stay up to date on all changes.